Well, so I'm doing some hunting down leeks, and I've only got two left. And one here where I've had to disconnect the uh, oil to water intercooler, and I'll explain that in a sec, but I've had to kind of get under here and rip it all out. And the other one is where the bracket to the ba back of the header, from the back of the block to the, the header to support the, uh, the large race header, that bracket's pushing against the oil pan seal and it's leaking a little bit there. So that's a tiny little leak, but I'll have to address that issue. And then this leak was a slightly bigger leak and I'll show you what's going on in a sec. So here's the intercooler and uh, I'd made a bracket for it and all that. Um, so Laminova SEM is the uh, company actually in Sweden that makes the um, the internal cores, these these intercooler cores, which can be used for you know air to air or air to liquid or liquid to liquid. So it's a very innovative uh, process they have. Anyway, the uh, Mocal people that uh, have licensed it or use it or purchase the guts of this stuff they sent me these uh, brackets and these brackets are they never fit over the end they're too, too, the ID is too uh, small so I mounted them this way where I mounted them inside the uh, the bracket and um, inside the uh, the flange and the problem is frankly that the uh, there's a, 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 um, a groove for the o-ring here to to be compressed and when I put the bracket on there it doesn't compress the o-ring enough and then you get uh, seepage sort of weeping out here and probably a little bit <laughs> into the a uh, little bit of oil into the uh, coolant and none of that's any good so this is a this is a, a gasket as well so what I'm in the process of doing is I'm going to be machining this out and then remounting and I'll have to change the mounting points and the holes and stuff and put it all back together but uh, I didn't want this to be uh, festering and uh, causing contamination between the oil and the coolant so had to happen had to get this done I have got the brackets done I just um, Drilled or, or used the um, lathe, to, not the lathe, but the milling machine to, to cut some new holes, and then I just used a uh, die grinder to uh, widen that up so that uh, everything can fit. And I just wanted to show you this is the uh, Laminova core that the oil is still saturated in oil, which is fine. So the coolant flows through the center in these outlets, and then the oil flows around. Everything's, as I said, it's Good and, good and sopping a lot with oil. So I'm going to reassemble it and I'll uh, put it back in the car and hopefully it won't leak. Well, so this is back in. The brackets have been moved to the outside and re zinc plated and everything and everything's cinched up and hopefully it's not going to leak. And then I have this um, brace to the header here that was creating some seepage, or at least I thought it was creating some seepage around the oil pan gasket, but I've re-tightened all the oil pan bolts, and I think maybe just the oil pan bolts needed a bit of re-tightening, that's all, so hopefully this is the end of the leaks, as they say, so dirty job, over with. Uh, and I sourced some uh, longer studs um, for the front wheels because of the spacers and then just uh, got studs for the inky racing wheels uh, which are a 60 degree conical instead of the um, 13 um, millimeter radius um, um, you know ball seat and um, also got my Lila Autosport um, rear uh, spacers I'm using 15 millimeters that's I bring the wheels out 15 millimeters and they've supplied these longer axle bolts, uh, 10 point whatever grade, 10.1 I think it is. Anyway, so I'm going to 12.9 grade um, Allen head. I just like working with Allen heads better than uh, hex heads. So I'll get those bolts early next week. And then I'll put the rear axles together.
couple then take the brakes off and put it all back together again. So I've taped up this um, bracket that goes under the steering column to um, support it a bit. And I'll just show you when you um, change hands here. So if I push up or down on the steering wheel, uh, I probably can't see here very well, but it moves. And the movement is uh, not much side to side movement, but vertically up and down, um, this stamp seal uh, frame here flexes. And uh, this bracket uh, doesn't solve it entirely, but I'll show you where it goes in a sec. And um, it triangulates it front to rear and um, cuts about 80% of the motion out of it. Uh, so there it is. It bridges to the top of the brake assembly where there's a stud or a stud uh, that sticks out. And I could bolt to that and then bolt to the other one. And then when I grab the steering wheel here and I tug it up and down, it still moves a tiny amount, but significantly less. So that's completely acceptable from my perspective. And then the steering wheel in both directions feels really solid. And by the way, I've got the collar here, in now, and I machined it so that um, it's pressing against the inside of the bearing race. And there's a groove I've uh, ground into the top of the steering column, just a small shallow groove so that the um, the uh, screw um, will, will, will engage it. And then that keeps the steering wheel from moving in and out um, at all. So now this thing is good enough. I'm trying to get all the things done that I need to get done before I put the dash in because I'm thinking, oh, what about this? Oh, what about that? So there's a few more things electrically I want to do, mechanically I want to do, and then slam it in, and then I won't want to be taking it out again, basically. So I'm getting all the stuff finished. Okay, I'm going to put the Leela Autosport um, 15 millimeter spacers in. It's Christmas Day, everything's settled down inside, and until about 4 o'clock, I got some time, so I'm going to come out here and wrench, do my happy stuff, and uh, so you can see. Oh, I can't turn it upside down, it'll look weird, but anyway, that's the gap or the distance before the spacer is in. Okay. Well, I'm sad. Um, I ordered new 12.9 um, Allen head uh, fasteners, socket head fasteners, and uh, 40 millimeters, which is the correct length, but I ordered them in fine pitch thread because that's what the caliper um, mount with is fine pitch threads, but these are coarse threads that go into the um, trailing beam here, the four bolts. So Leela supplied these and they're 45 millimeters and they're, they stick out quite a bit on the top and then the bottom they actually run into the tube here so they're too long so I'm temporarily <laughs> mounting these bolts um, with three washers on the bottom. It, it clears the rotor so that's okay but this is a hack job so I'm not uh, going to leave it like this. I'm just going to look at the wheels and see how they align with the body and then when I get my, uh, uh, I'll reorder the bolts, the correct bolts, and then uh, I'll put the uh, the ones in that I want that are the correct depth. And uh, yeah, it's this is the way the project goes sometimes. Anyway, so as I said, I, uh, just temporarily putting it together. You can see the space here in the back there. Um, I'm using the three millimeter spacer on it um, as well, just to see whether that extra depth or offset will work in the rear. And I give it a fresh coat of zinc paint so it looks pretty. And uh, I'm gonna throw the wheel on now. Well, the three millimeter spacer probably works. It, uh, you gotta wait until this is, you know, cars back down on the ground. But uh, this outside edge of the wheel ends up being a half inch in 
on the lip here. So the very outside edge of the rubber is still in half an inch. Um, so that's with a 15 millimeter spacer. And by the way, Leela Auto Sport makes uh, camera caster um, shims as well. So if you don't like your rear alignment, you can measure it and then order custom shims for each individual side and then they can just pop those on uh, as part of the spacer at the back and they give you special spherical washers and bolts to uh, relieve the stress uh, that's, uh, that happens if you have things that aren't parallel surfaces. So good to check all that out. So yeah, we'll see, we'll drop this on the road, but this is this is kind of within range of what I was looking for. It's probably gonna match the front exactly, but I need to get the car back on the ground and I'll wait until I get my new bolts to uh, put it all together perfectly and then make the final measurements, but I'm happy. I'm happy this is gonna work out nicely.